Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, just to jump right in, I had to get on here after a live I just watched. Hearing some of the people um, that were added to the live, hearing some of them speak about you know certain things they were battling and suffering from, I just want to add my two cents in. I just want to say that please know that you are never alone. And I've some of these things that I'm I'm saying tonight, um, I've said before, but I I feel strongly in my spirit to say it again. The Lord is available twenty four seven. I've said this. He's omnipresent. The devil will love for you to think that you are out here alone. Jesus is with us. I know I say this a lot, but please read your Bibles and pray. I say that a million times because that's that's the foundation. It may sound cliche to you, but it is our helper, our helper, excuse me, our comfort, our weapon. It's powerful, full of power. It's alive. Pray. Simply put, just pray. It's not about anything fancy. Just have a conversation with the Lord. I've said this before in a previous video. Whatever you're battling, take it to the Lord. In prayer, in that conversation, ask for help. You can speak to him directly. You know, you don't you don't always have to have a, a preacher. Open your Bibles. So pray, read your word, open your Bibles. Ask the Lord to guide you into understanding. Just genuinely from your heart mean it. And the scriptures say that you need not that any man teach you. The the scriptures are true. Those preachers and teachers or whoever they are um, that, that you listen to or that you, you have chosen, they're not omnipresent. And I have to say this because, you know, I don't want anybody to take anything the wrong way. Yes, we need, yes, God appointed preachers and speakers and, you know, chosen leaders and of that nature. I, I, I look up to some, a, a couple. Just a few that I probably can count on, not even fully count on one hand like three two actually oh <laughs> really just two two that i know that are chosen that i know i have never ever had to be like or just second guess like what did what, what you mean by that yeah two two so you know god is omnipresent he's with us 24 7 um you can speak to him anytime any time of the day or night And I was just, I was listening to a live, um, a, a, a preacher and I, I had commented and I was saying that it's like, I always say we have like this built in everything, built in helper, security guard, teacher, provider, comforter, um, healer, counselor, friend, just, just all it's special. It's, it's amazing. But to know, to really know this, you just have to have a relationship with the Lord. And it's free. And the thing is, I think people think that they have to consult with man, meaning just like a human, to, to get that relationship. You don't. The scriptures say so. And I'm going to read it for you. Because I'm all about whatever the scriptures say. If the scriptures don't say it, I'm not saying it. I'm not speaking on it. But 1 John 2, 27, I read from KJV. But the anointing which ye have, which ye have received of him abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. 
scriptures say it. You can go directly to the you can go directly to the Lord. Any time any time of the day. And as far as help, um I wanted I wanted to speak on that too. As far as you know, the Lord being our help, our help, helper. Uh 1 Peter 5 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Take anything that you're battling, whether it's sin, whatever, take it to the Lord. Something you, you, you a career you're trying to, to have, a business ministry, anything you're trying to pursue, take it to the Lord. He cares. Matthew 18, 10. I like this one too. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven so that that scripture to me just it just tells you that we're not alone and we even have angels personal angels that's what i think i do believe that that's why i say a built-in security guard i think that we we do have an angel that is with us 24 7 and 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 and, and bat and fighting our battles and I always think to myself, if we could see and, and and say, if we could see the things that the Lord protect us from in the spirit, we would probably be just heavily in tears and in thankfulness 24 seven to the Lord. Because he 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 stopped that accident from happening. He stopped that person from trying to, you know, do evil towards us. He's, we, we have a helper and that's, that's just something I really want people to, to know that we are not alone. We have help our Holy spirits, which is our helper, our comforter, our protector. So please remember that, you know, the devil, he gives me it. Another person says something on the lot alive about certain, uh, things that, um, I think that the devil puts on her or something, but the devil also gives me negative and negative or sinful thoughts. But there is another scripture that says not to give place to the devil. I don't have any fancy way of telling you how to defeat that, but besides the word and to not give place, it's not always something, you know, fancy where you got to, I don't know, but I ignore them. If the devil puts a thought in my head. I ignore it and I continue on. I break out into worship. I start thanking the Lord that I'm his. Um, I say these things out loud. The scriptures say we can't Jesus. The scriptures say that Jesus and um, Jesus people, his, his children cannot be plucked out of his hands. I say that out loud. I say all these things in confidence so that the devil will flee. That's the important thing. And all this, and I read all this, this is all based off scripture. I think we need to know the power that's in the word, the power that we have as a child of God. The power that's in the word, the scriptures. And you don't know the power that you have unless you read your Bibles. It's the truth. There's no other way to put it. Read your Bibles. Like, that's all I can say. Because that's all that you need to do. And I think the problem is that most people depend on a preacher who is not sent from God, not Holy Spirit filled, and then they end up lacking that power and understanding. I do not, I do not, I do not mind um, saying, I'm not afraid to say that I test the spirit with with any pastor, any chosen prophet or leader that I speak to. Because guess what? This is my life. Eternal life. So be careful who you choose as your preacher, teacher, counselor, or whoever um, that leader is or whoever you look up to to get, you know, um, understanding and advice from. And I just want to say it's not hard. It's not hard, but <laughs> it's not hard, but it is, but it's not. And I'm saying that because it's not hard because we are not alone. I've just explained to you how we're not alone. 
because we have the word. We have the Holy Spirit. I told you we have like a built in everything. That's just how I put it. But we're not robots. We have free will. The scriptures don't say strive for no reason. Let me read the scripture. Um, did I note that scripture? Let me just uh, read that scripture. Okay. Luke 13, 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and should not be able. My whole point of reading that scripture was it says strive to enter in at the straight gate. Do you think if it was if, if it was just this easy thing that we automatically like robots do everything right? We don't have to pray. We don't have to seek the Lord. We don't have to fast. We don't have to be obedient, strive to be obedient. Do you think that the, the scriptures would say strive? It wouldn't say strive if we didn't have to do those things. And I don't want to say it's hard because it's not hard, but I'm just saying that we have to fight. That's what the scriptures say. We have to strive. And for me, when I was speaking to someone, I was speaking to someone that just we're talking about, you know, how this and that is hard to get over this and that. And I understand because, you know, like I just said, it's something that we have to fight, strive. But I also have to say the importance of wanting to to, to even care to want to do right, to be righteous, do right, which is being righteous, being obedient. That's why the scriptures say the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. I didn't know what book and uh, what book and what uh, scripture that is, but it's there. The, uh, just look it up. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. It starts with you. You have to care. And I don't know how else to put it, but it's it's just simply that we just have to fear God. What is fearing God? Fearing God is, you know, being afraid, not wanting to do what he says not to do. And sometimes it's like for me, just speaking of my own experience and if my I speak on the Holy Spirit all the time, it's our helper. The scriptures say the Holy Spirit is, is our helper and it convicts us and it leads us into truth. And I found that to be true just through my experiences in life. If I do something that I'm not supposed to be doing, I get the feeling in my own. I can't explain what it is, but I get the feeling inside of me that my Holy Spirit is saying, don't do this. You know, you're not supposed to be doing this. You know this. You know that. That's what I'm saying. Be in, have that relationship with the Lord. That's the only way is to have that relationship with the Lord. And you don't need to go to, you don't need to get in your car and drive to go see that pastor or make an appointment to talk to that pastor to do that. If you read your Bibles, all this will make a lot of sense. If you're not reading your Bible and don't have a relationship with the Lord, this is probably not going to make any sense. So I think that's all that I have for tonight. I only get on here when I feel something strongly in my spirit or... I just feel that I need to to speak on a scripture. And when I'm getting on here speaking these things, don't don't think that I'm 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 speaking from a place that I have it all together. No, cuz I've said that in previous videos that I don't. We're in this together. But I'm for sure going to speak on, you know, the encouragement that the Lord gives me and the understanding and knowledge that he gives me through scripture. That's that's where it, that's where it starts. And I think that, you know, most don't want to take the time to read the word. It's important. The devil does want it. He wants to distract you from not reading your word. He don't want you to have that power in you. It's, 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 um, having the word in you, having that power in you is, is, um, what's the word? It's scary to the devil. That's why if I'm in dealing with any situation where I know the devil's heavy on me, um, I just call him the name of Jesus. I'm riding the car. I just literally call on the name of Jesus because there is a song. And I think that scripture too, there is power in the name of Jesus. Believe it. Believe the scripture. Believe the word. Put it in you. That's your power. That's your weapon. 
That's how you fight the devil with the scripture, with the word. Not going to church. We do not forsake ourselves with other Christians. I'm not saying don't go to church. I'm saying have a relationship with the Lord outside the church, outside your prayer partner. By yourself, have a relationship with the Lord also. Read, read the word. But, and if you don't know where to start, ask, a, ask the Lord to lead you into understanding and guide you. He'll do that. He cares. He cares. The Bible, the, the, the uh, Lord defines, he compares our relationship. He's our father. As to a parent and child, father and a child. Think about it. How much does a father really love their child? I would hope, you know. It doesn't even compare to the love of the, our Heavenly Father. But I'm just saying, you know, you your parents love you. They care for you to be on the right path. They care for you to do right. They want you to, you know, come come to them for help and advice. Our Heavenly Father is the same or even better. You know? That's that's it. That's the only that's that, that's the only way to put it. Lean not onto your own understanding. Read the scriptures. Let God be true and every man a liar. This is scripture. That's scripture. It is not to try to be rude. It's just truth. Jesus is the only one perfect. And I said in a previous video, even what I'm telling you, test the spirit. Look it up. Go and take it to the scripture. Test my spirit. Not that I would ever want to. I, I would never lead anybody into sin or hell or anything that's not true. But I still say I test everyone's spirit. Every every anyone that's 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 you know speaking on the word and giving advice, I test the spirit. Sure do. You know, just like if you are graduating from high school and you want to, you know, obviously go to the most prestigious, best college that's gonna, you know, give you the best um that's going to give you the best skill that you need to get the best job or for the best company. You take time and you, you, you're very, you're very, um, you're, you're, you're picky with that. You're not just going to go to any college because that's your future. Your future depends on it. And that's how I feel. If I'm, I'm careful about who I listen to, because this is, and this is even a bigger issue. It's a bigger situation, obviously than college. This is eternal life eternal life my life depends on my faith my obedience the word i'm unapologetic when it comes to choosing who i uh choosing who i listen to now if i listen to someone i know that they don't have the spirit of god i'm not saying anything i'll just you know dismiss myself it's only two preachers that i can say that um only two pre preachers that I have found to be. I I'll say that I've been listening to for a long time, because as I've stated before, I like to, to listen to you for a long time to know what spirit you're of or. And it don't take me a long time to know what spirit you're of. But I still when I found out you do have that spirit of God, I like to listen to you for a while. So I start, you know, maybe telling my family, to listen to them or recommending them. And I also want to know what their life is like. We can't, and the thing is, we can't see their, their lives, their personal life. That's why we just have to pray and ask the Lord, pray about everything. I pray literally about everything, I promise. And it's nothing wrong with that. I pray about a certain hairstyle. <laughs> it may sound crazy. Um, but yes, I do. I pray about everything. I pray about, I pray when I get in the car, I pray before I eat. I pray, and I definitely pray um over i pray about who i should listen to pray about friends i pray about what church i should go to i pray about who should baptize me i pray about everything because it's important but on that note um i didn't expect this video to be uh not video but um 
this this episode to be this long but just strongly felt in my spirit to to get on here and speak on you know the importance of reading your bibles getting that word in you which is power which is our weapon to defeat the devil um please if you enjoyed this or you know you want to hear more and you feel led in your spirit please subscribe like comment um any questions i'll be you know glad to answer them not saying that i know everything because i don't but one thing i do is i I love the word and i am striving to enter into the kingdom of heaven so i pray that you know everyone has a blessed night seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added unto you have a great night bye